do you think you're adapting so far and how it's gone for you? Uh, I think it's gone pretty well so far. You know, all the receivers are taking me in, helping me learn the offense and quarterbacks, staying after practice, helping me, letting me know what I need to work on. I think it's all been pretty smooth so far. Is it getting more comfortable? Oh, yeah. The, I think the biggest difference really was the speed of the game. Everybody's much faster. Everybody's just as fast. Like in high school, you're going to run by people. You can't really do that here. Just, but you're pretty fast, right? Yeah. I mean, I like to think I'm, I'm pretty fast. I can stride stuff out. But it's that speed of the game. The linemen are fast. TVs are fast. Everybody, the, everything moves faster. You break the huddle faster. Does your speed help you here, though? Yeah, I definitely think it's uh, something I've been able to use to my advantage. You had a nice touchdown on a, a post, it looked like. How'd that feel? It felt pretty good, uh, especially we were in a little, I mean, the, def the defense put together a couple pretty good plays before that, too, uh, stopping an outside run and everything, but that was good, and that was the last play team, so it, it felt good to end on high now. And you had a couple of deep balls down the sideline earlier in, in camp um, that kind of let you know, hey, I'm, I'm out here and I can I can contribute right away? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, I've always, I like to be confident in every everything I do, so just being able to uh, make a couple plays really helps assure to myself that you know I'm supposed to be here. You guys have a lot of wideouts. Uh, do you expect to play this year? What do you think? Um, you know, it's, it all depends on BT and how, how the game plan, how we fit in personnel-wise, and whatever uh, whatever they plan for me is what I'm going to go with. Are you going to run track? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll long jump. Yeah. Are you watching the Olympics? Oh yeah, uh, with the time the time I have. No Americans made the final of the long jump today. I know. I was, I was mad. I was hoping my uh, my guy from uh, Oakland. He's there was a long jumper on the U.S. team from Oakland. He was on the team. I was rooting for him. Something that you uh, keep in the back of your mind for long term? Yeah, always. I, I like the I like to think I could get to that level. The Americans dominated that event for decades. Yeah. All of a sudden, only three Pete ever, and now we have nobody. <laughs> did you ever hit 25 in practice? Um. Yeah, I did. Nice. 20, 24, 10 or so to win the state? Yeah. Uh, 24, 7 and a half was my seven best half. jump okay. in the state. Okay. Yeah. How'd that feel winning state? That, that was awesome. I won it on my last jump, very last jump. Wow. I, I was number one seed so going through the whole thing, but fell behind early and ended up having one jump to the end to win it. And that was, uh, you, know, you could really feel that pressure. When I was running down the runway, my, my whole body felt numb. I, I didn't even know what to do. Were you emphasizing sp speed on that one, or are you hitting your mark? Uh, or both? I was a little behind the board in all my jumps okay. before, so it was all just about speed, getting down the runway, yeah. getting up. You've been nearby, but what's it feel like to, to suit up for Cal and be part of this team? Uh, it's awesome, because I, I mean, I've known BT a long time, because my brother played here, and before, yeah, before me, he, there was him, and he played a lot like me. He was fast, long, and did a lot of stuff just like me, and watching him play at Cal and now being here feels feels awesome. What's it been like to be part of this group? Because you have some guys coming from different schools, some new guys. What's it been like to, just to be part of that receiver room? Uh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you got people like Kieran coming from Ohio State. He's like, he's taught me a lot, how to get out of, get out of the breaks cleaner. Uh, Tobias is teaching me a lot about how to influence DBs because he's another really long, really fast receiver playing on the outside. So everybody's chilling together, I think. Watching Josiah come in as a true freshman and have such a good um, spring ball, does that kind of – inspire you a little bit to feel like you can contribute early? Of course, you know, Josiah is one of the most crisp route runners you'll probably ever see. So knowing that, you know, BT's open to letting the freshmen come in and um, come in and make a make an impact is always a good is always a good thing to see. Who's the fastest wide receiver on the team? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Do they all agree with that? No, I think I'd probably say <laughs> I'd say four or five people will probably all say themselves. <laughs> It might be kind of close though with it's Keon and, and Merriweather and those guys. Oh yeah, it is. It's definitely they'll throw the uh, miles per hour up there every day and all right. You know it switches off who's who's up there. Do you do you know who has the the highest miles per hour total so far this camp? Keon, uh, Keon, Mead, and Toby. Okay. A lot of your runs are focused on strength and conditioning. What's an ideal physical frame for you here at the college level? Um, you know, I've I've gained a I've gained a good amount of weight since I first got here in the beginning of the summer, and you know I think. As as camp goes, I'm just gonna keep putting on weight. I'm around 200 to get in there, so just keep putting on weight, and then just see what the strength and conditioning staff wants me at. See how how well we can pack on weight, because I'm always trusting what they're saying. Everything everything they've said for me has worked out really well so far. So.
It's a lot more physical game than La Marinda football. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Faster, more physical, everybody's yeah. just... They're there, they're ready. Yeah. Having been around the program for a while, has anything just kind of surprised you now that you're actually going through it, or were you ready for everything that's come at you? Um, you know, my brother had warned me for a lot of stuff, but I definitely see what our coaches are talking about. And this, this is one of the most competitive teams that they've had. Everybody's ready to fight for their spot and defense versus offense. I mean, you see people being competitive out here, and then you go in the locker room, and the people that were John at each other all day are eating lunch together. It's really family. Did you ever race your brother, Chris? Yeah. When, how old were you before you could beat him? Um, I don't think I was ever old enough to beat him when I was <laughs> racing him, but I'd always compare my track times or jumps and everything, and uh, I, I think I surpassed his senior year times when I was a sophomore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Wrap it up. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Thank, Thank you. Very much.